Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year to everyone. I hope that you had a really fun time celebrating with your loved ones because I sure did. So it took me a while to film something but here we are welcoming the new year with a brand new video. And today we are going to cover the review for the new ColourPop 1111 palette. Actually, this is not a brand new release. But it is brand new to my collection. I have been using it for quite some time, around a month. And I think I'm ready to give my final thoughts on this one. So without further ado, let's jump right in to the video. First off, let me just preface this by saying I think this is a decent dupe for the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude palette. Actually, this is the main reason why I decided to buy this palette because of the color scheme. It is very much similar with the I Need a Nude palette because you have here your nude transition shades and then you have here the deeper shades for your outer crease. And of course, the very exquisite shimmer shades. So let's just go right in, dive right in and create a good eye makeup look. So for the first eye makeup look that I'm going to try and replicate is kind of like an everyday type of eye makeup. This is actually one of my go-to when I use this palette. So for the first stop, I'm going to take Good Thoughts right here with a fluffy crease brush and diffuse it on my crease it is actually very close to my skin tone so it doesn't do much but it's there trust me <laughs> what i like about this palette is that it doesn't deposit a lot of color on the first dip but it's not under saturated so it's just the right color payoff so you can create something i think this is very very great for light to medium skin tones i'm not sure for deeper skin tones if this will show up on your skin maybe the darker shades but for the matte transition shades i think this will not be friendly for your skin tone but to those of you who have fair to medium skin tone this is a one-of-a-kind palette an all-around palette and then I'm going to put a little bit of this shade called Protection. This is a nude pink shade, also great for transition work. And as you can see, it just changes the overall tone of your look. The palette I actually brought with me on my Mindanao trip. I am in Mindanao guys, that's why it's a change of that's why it's a change of scenery. So I'm back in my hometown. And this is the only palette that I took with me. I'm very brave like that. <laughs> okay. So I really wanted to test this out, see if it can really live up to its claims of being an all-around everyday palette. And so far so good. This is actually very buttery to the touch, to the feel, very velvety smooth, and I feel like it also helps with the overall um, blending because it has a very seamless blend because of its texture. So this is actually my first ever ColourPop palette. And I've been wanting a ColourPop palette for so long, and this is like the only Time that I really decided to push through with it and I have no regrets whatsoever so for my everyday glitter shade because glitter is life this one manifest it it's a really pretty goldy nude shade so I just put that all over my lid and you would think that it would clash with the pink tone, but it won't. It's just a stunning all-over lid shade. Gonna replicate that on the other eye. 
So it's the day after New Year. The holiday season is officially over and there's a lot to unpack here. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. The holiday spirit here in my hometown is so strong that it's quite sad when it comes to an end. I don't know if it's the same for you guys out there, but that's how it is here in my hometown and I quite miss everything. The nostalgia of it all. Actually, we celebrate New Year's Eve with my neighbors, so I am really quite sad to let it all end. <laughs> but all good things must come to an end so we can have better things in the future. Okay, my camera died. Where were we? Daytime look. Okay, so this is everything. Very simple. But if you want to elevate this further look no more, we can dive into these darker shades. So let's do that. A mix of all three of this. Perfect Harmony, Right Path, and Empowered. And then, I'm gonna use that to smudge my lash line here. So just further depositing the darker shades on the lid area. And then, of course, we're gonna take that on the crease. The blending of the shadows is exquisite. You really don't need a lot of technique and skills to blend the shadows out. It's perfect for beginners also. And then, I'm gonna take this shade called Divine. It's not a matte shade. It has like random glitters in it and I'm gonna put that all over the lid like so and then we're gonna top that off with major change perfect we're ready for black tie glam parties in the inner corner let's go for total angel and boom we have a complete eye look right here let me just finish the rest of my makeup and then let's have the final say this is the final makeup look. I'm sorry, it's so close up. I don't have my tripod with me. But all in all, I just have to say this is a good all-around kind of palette. So if you don't want to splurge lots of money on the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude palette, this is a good alternative. It's not the same quality, but it is on par already. It doesn't have that same shimmery, metallic -y goodness that the Natasha Denona eyeshadow formulation has. But this is a close second. It will not disappoint, especially if you use some fixing gel or some eye or some makeup spray. All in all, will I recommend this palette to you? Of course, 10 out of 10. Go and buy this palette. I will leave the link down below if you would decide to add it to your cart. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.